Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another painting tutorial. I'm so excited because I'll be doing a food painting today and I chose a cupcake. And we'll be using the colors that you're seeing here on my left side. So we have titanium white, black, brown, uh, brown or burnt sienna, magenta, primary blue, um, medium yellow. You can use primary yellow or uh, uh, what they call this. Uh, cadmium yellow and light brown so my canvas size canvas paper size is 12 by 16 so you can get yourselves a similar size or a proportionate size so that you know it's easy for you to um, scale everything in the canvas so let's start now I'm gonna sketch first the subject uh, using burnt sienna and the colors that I just mentioned will be listed in the description box below so that you can easily refer to them. All right, so I'm going to use my burnt sienna just to sketch the picture. So this will be a busy cupcake, meaning um, there will be lots and lots of ingredients. And I love cupcakes, by the way. I'm such a chocolate, um, chocolate type of person. This is a chocolate cupcake, however, okay. Um, I mean, just like this. Maybe I will do a little bit of adjustment. I think this is too high. Okay, just like that. Mm hmm right just like that so this will be the shape of the cup i'm so just showing you it's very rough the sketch will be really really rough if you like cupcakes just like me let me know in the comment section below <laughs> It doesn't really matter, <laughs> but um, why I love cupcakes, I don't eat cupcakes a lot, all right? So this will be the bread part, okay? And there will be a huge, huge icing, which is also my favorite part because I'm just, again, I just want everything so sweet. I'm such a, uh, I have a sweet too. I think everyone has sweet tooth, but the thing is, some people just can't control their um, cravings, uh, their cravings over, you know, chocolates and sweet stuff. Me, when I feel like eating chocolate, I really don't uh, deprive myself from eating chocolate. Chocolate is like a part of my life and a part of my childhood. I know it sounds it sounds a little cringy, but um, it is a part, a huge part of my childhood because um, when I was a kid, all the chocolates in the world, I think I've tasted already. Yeah, because whenever I like a chocolate, I would eat chocolate. My father would give me lots and lots of chocolates. And yeah, that's a very nice childhood memory that I wasn't deprived of anything. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so this will be the blueberries. I'm so excited to do this one. So there will be three blueberries right on top. And it's really good sometimes to sketch the subject. You know me, I, re I rarely do uh, uh, like a full-on sketch, okay? This will be uh, raspberry or something. And a little bit of garnish, orange garnish. Okay, and some chocolate bar on top. <laughs> Just like that. I love it. Okay, 
and I think I'm going to make my cupcake a little rounder. Okay, now let's proceed to underpainting. I don't know if I'm going to make some adjustments even more, like make my icing thicker. I think I will. Okay. So basically, this will be the sketch of this cupcake painting. Now I'm going to switch to a bigger brush. I'm going to get my black so that we can do the underpainting and also the depth and all the dimensions. I'm just going to prepare now all the colors so that we don't get, uh, 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 what they call this, disturbed. We don't disturb ourselves later in the middle of the painting. So again, the colors that we'll be using are going to be listed in the description box below, or you can check them out now because as soon as you are able to watch this video, the colors are already listed down there in the description box. Okay. We have burnt sienna and light brown. If you don't have a light brown, like a ready-to-use light brown color, you can definitely use your burnt sienna. Just add white to that, and you have a light brown. You know, just because I told you to get light brown, uh, you get a light brown color that is ready to use from the shop. You can definitely use light brown without having to buy any additional paint. So now let's underpaint. I'm going to use my black and brown. But make sure the brown is the more dominant color. So I'm going to, okay, right away, I'm just going to color dark, a little dark, okay, a little darker. I want it really, really dark, dark brown. Okay. The key here is to do the bulk of the painting, which is coloring first okay, the painting. Don't worry too much about the details just yet. The details will, uh, will come later. And I think a lot of painters or a lot of artists are discouraged already when uh, they do the details right away, simply because you don't get you don't see the bigger picture and it's very frustrating very discouraging very demotivating as well to just see a painting that is not coming together right so i want you to do first the underpainting so that you know you kind of have an idea of where things are going to go now i'm going to go for light brown remember that we have our light brown and i'm not washing my brush i'm just wetting my brush and let's go and color the icing Okay. You can um, you can paint over the sketch line. I will be painting over the sketch lines because uh, I only show that to you for purposes of not getting lost and showing you where things are going to go. But uh, remember where you placed your sketch lines. You may choose not to paint over them so that you don't get lost. But me, I want it to be easier on my part. I just want to proceed with the painting. Right. 
Okay, I'm going to paint over the sketch line that you see here. And also, I'm going to... Okay. All right. So we've underpainted as well the icing part. The icing is also chocolate. <laughs> okay, so I think I need to wash my brush out or you can use a cleaner brush. Let's proceed to doing a little berry here. So I'm going to get my magenta. I'm going to add a tiny bit of burnt sienna so that I tone the color down. Let's just color. Okay, I love coloring. When I was a kid, coloring is such a fun thing to do. However, I wasn't really good, in all honesty. Okay. Okay, just like that. And then let's color the chocolate. So I'm going to get my brown and black again. I'm going to add, yeah, the color red will help. So let's add a little bit of red color. This will be blurred later because it's in the back. So it's just a chocolate bar hanging with some chocolate cupcake and some fruits. Okay, now I'm going to get my blue. Yeah, true blue. I'm not washing my brush. I don't care. And it has some black and brown colors, but I'm just going to color this blueberry here. Okay. Right here. Okay, and the back. Okay, and we will clean, okay, we will clean the edges of the shapes that we have here because we don't want excess paints or paints that are going outside the sketch lines. Now I'm going to get my black. And I'm just going to apply some black paint just around or along the edge of the blueberries so that it gets separated already from the other berries that we see. Okay. Like that. I'm just trying to separate it. Okay, just like that. And now, let's proceed to doing... Okay, why is this not colored? I can color it brown. Yeah, just color this area brown, just to fill in the space. It's just the underpainting. We'll be doing the paper cup later. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get my brown and black, by the way. Let's create some vertical, slightly diagonal lines. Okay, just to warm things up already when we do the cupcake, or when we do the cup. That will be the little details. And if you need to relayer, go ahead. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, now let's proceed to doing some more berries. Again, blue and black. Let's color this one. Again, we're trying already to remove the sketch lines. The sketch lines were only there to show you how things are going to go. They are not there to remain towards the up to the end of this painting. I'm going to wash my brush out. I'm going to get my yellow. So I have my medium yellow. Maybe a little bit of white so that we lighten it a bit. And I'm going to color this area yellow. If you grab by accident any color that is not necessary, for the part of the painting that you're doing, you can simply paint over it, don't worry. Okay. Let's make an overlapping um, image here. Okay, I'm gonna allow this paint to dry. I'm gonna dab onto my brown just to finish things off right here. Because I forgot to color. Okay, this part. Okay. All right, and then maybe using another brush just to fix things. I'm going to make this berry a little bigger. And of course, sorry about the street sounds that you're hearing. I'm so sorry about that. It's actually uh, still holiday here. It's pretty quiet outside. However, our building is right in front of the street. So you can hear a lot of street sounds. Okay, now let's go in, let's do some highlighting. Where do we start? I think I want to start with the icing. So I'm going to get my light brown and mix it with white. All right, and then maybe wet your brush so that you can apply this, the paint more smoothly. I'm going to start with this area. Okay, just try to separate, you know. Okay, like that. Lightening it a bit. Now using that color, I am going to lighten this part of the icing also here here I want you to get a more pointy brush and dab onto your white. Mix it with the light brown color. And you go back to highlighting the icing with some white. And make the, make the markings a little, um, like not so perfect. Make it look more natural. Because a cupcake is not supposed to be symmetrical. The way it's shaped is very, um, what do you call this, attractive to kids because of the colors. And it looks like so nice, like so soft and 
and all the good stuff and i'm gonna lighten the right part the right side portion to give it highlight Then also right here. And also here. Okay, again, brown and light and white, I mean. and like here all right just like that i like it and also like <laughs> like that, I love it. Some more white detailing. And here as well. Okay, now let's get some light, dark, darker browns. Mm -hmm. Let's make it darker. Okay, like this. Like that. Okay, I love it. I'm going to make it a little darker to give it some depth, okay? Okay, like that. And then we're going to darken this part because it's, we want to give this painting uh, depth. So not every part will be equally or visually um, equal as to the colors. Some will appear dark, some will appear brighter. And that's just because of perspective. Okay, some light browns and some dark browns. Okay, this. We're going to make some depth. Right here. Try to separate the folds, okay?
Okay, I'm going to make some gray colors right here. Okay, and then some white. Okay, I'm going to go back to my white just to add some tiny highlights. Right, like that. Okay, I'm going to go back to the icing later. Because, you know, sometimes your eyes just get tired of looking at the same area of the painting. So I'm going to move on to the blueberry. So I'm going to dab onto my white and blue and black. So the same color, blue and black, but this time we'll be adding white to create some sort of highlight. Right here. Okay, again, the same color. Okay, I'm going to apply white. I'm going to add a tiny bit of water so that I can apply um, a watered-down highlight. Ooh, there's some yellow that accidentally mixed, but it's okay. It's just paint over that area. Okay, like this. I'm going to get my white and create some white markings on certain areas. Okay, like that. And I'm going to get my black. I'm just going to use another brush. Again, using black, I'm going to go around the edge or along the edge of the blueberry. some markings okay just like that okay we will definitely go back to that later 
let's proceed to doing this. I think this is one of the hardest. <clears throat> so we're going to do uh, uh, a red berry. Is that a is that even a thing? A red berry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna outline first, you know, the shape so that we give it dimension. Okay. Now I'm going to do some light magenta. I'm going to mix my magenta with white. So we get pink color. And I'm going to... Okay, we need more white. So we're just going to make some markings. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to get my pure magenta, not mixing it with any other color. I'm going to try. Okay, I'm going to mix it with yellow. I'm sorry. I need to get like an orange type of color. And we're going to apply it right here in the middle section. Okay, now I'm going to get more magenta and I'm going to apply it on certain areas. And don't forget the highlights. Okay, so we will go back to that area later, okay? We will definitely go back to that because it's kind of difficult. I'm going to wait for it to dry before I do some more highlighting. But I think I can proceed with some details. I'm going to mix my magenta with black so that I get a darker shade of magenta. And we can apply. Okay. Give it depth.
Okay, and then Okay, you will go back to that area later, all right? I'm going to get my blue and white. Oops, I am ruining. The yellow paint is still dry. I mean, still wet. So let me just fix this part. I'm just going to fix it because I don't like it. Yeah, there you go. It's gone. Okay. I'm going to get my black. I'm going to get some white. Create some tiny circles. And then using, using some uh, water down black, let's darken. Gonna get my pure white. And I'm gonna highlight.
Okay, we'll go back to that later. It's getting really, really difficult now. I'm going to get my light brown again just to highlight. Light brown plus white just to highlight this part of the icing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And some light browns over here. In here. And some white to really, really give this light play. Let's move on to the chocolate. So I'm going to get my brown. Okay. Brown plus black plus white. Okay. Plus white. Maybe a little bit of red or magenta. And I'm going to dry brush. I'm going to remove the excess water from my paintbrush. And I'm just going to dry brush just along the middle section of the chocolate, not the edge. All right. This way. Okay, and then using water down black, let's get, uh, let's make some dark colors. Okay, like that. Again, water down black. Right here. I'm not really coloring it black. I'm just using some water and I'm black. Okay. Now I'll be using pure black. I'll be painting just along the edge. That portion that separates the... Um, Icing from the bread. I'm going to get my white, mix it with brown. And let's create the paper cup. Okay, using the same color, let's create, okay, I'll be adding a little bit of brown to that. Let's create the folds.
I'm definitely going to reshape this area because uh, so now I'm just gonna use some watered down gray to suggest okay like translucent paper Okay, just like that. Okay, I am going to clean, all right, this area. Reshaping it. Right. Of course, the other side, the other side will be reshaped as well. Okay, great. Okay, great. You see, oh, cannot see that. Let's do the bread before we go back to some areas. Or maybe let's finish that lemon because we haven't touched on the lemon. I'm going to get my yellow plus white. But more dominantly white, okay? So I'm going to... Apply All right, my God. And using this pure white, since we already we're at it already. I'm going to create some highlight. Now using this droplets of watered down white, we're going to apply this on the bottom so that, you know, uh, it resembles the paper cup. It should be a little transparent, a uh, translucent. Okay, like this. We are not trying to paint it with white. We're just glazing it with white. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit of gray. Gray colors in some areas to give it um, folds and dimension. And using some browns and black, we can create markings of dark browns. And maybe I'm going to add right here, down here at the bottom, some sort of table or surface on which this cupcake is placed. But this right part should be a little lighter. Okay. All right. Now let's create the bread. We're not yet done with the cupcake, not even with the, the paper cup. I'm going to get my brown. We're going to apply some browny spots, okay, and then some light browns. I actually don't know what time we're going to finish. Um, I will just do my very best to finish it the way I want it to end. A little bit of light brownie colors. And also here. Okay. And then black. Some light browns.
empty. Like that. Then we're going to lighten this part. It's very noisy again. Some light browns at the bottom of the cupcake. Let me check. Okay. It's getting, we're getting there. Just adding details on the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to gray. Let's get some gray color. I'm just going to gray this area. Give it um, some mm. shiny effect, glossiness, I mean. I'm just going to dry brush some white paint. right here so it's just dry brushing okay and i'm going to glaze over the right side 
as you can see here, um, I'm just going to glaze it like this because we want to make it appear that the light is coming from the left side. Okay. okay, I'm going to use my light browns again just to make things more smooth. Now using some watered down brown, I'm going to water down my brown color and apply it like randomly also here. It should be dark really. This side. Let's give it some more depth. I must say that this is not really like easy, um, but I like it because, uh, you know, sometimes you would think that we can do any painting, but in fact, um, there are paintings that still challenge, challenge, challenge me. And that's great. It's great to know because it means that I still have a lot of things to, to learn. I'm just going to reshape. Okay, the bottom of my cupcake. Just gonna add white. And this one will be darker. Okay, I'm going to go for a pointy brush and let's create some more, some more detailing. Okay, some light browns.
Okay, and then some dark browns just to give it dimension again. It's different, guys, when I do a painting and I'm on video and that I know that I'm on video than when I'm just painting for myself. It's different. When I'm on video, I also consider the time. Okay? I also consider the time, of course. Okay, I'm gonna gray again. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white just to make it more shiny. Chocolate. And some more depth. Now, let's make some orangey color, but more dominantly yellow. So it's like yellow-orange. Let's make this area a little more orange. Like that. And then add some yellow. Okay, like this. Let me check. And then I'm just going to clean this area. Okay, I told you that the chocolate bar at the back will be blurred, okay? It will be a little more on the blurry side because, you know, we want to give this painting some sort of drama. Okay, so using this white, I hope this area is already dry. I am just going to apply some white dry brushing it with this color give it some light play this is where the light effects comes into play the light effect comes into play okay okay and also this side Now let's do the same thing right over on the chocolate. Again, we don't want to paint over that. We just want to make it appear blurry while also providing some sort of background. Okay, right. Okay, now I'm going to get my dark brown. So I'm going to mix my brown and black, but I'm going to water it down. Okay, and then I'm going to color this part 
with that color. Making sure that we darken this part of the cupcake. Okay. Making the left side more brown. Okay. I'm going to add black. Okay. Water it down. Remember to water it down. That's the key to glazing it. Okay, like this. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Wow. Oh my God. We came to this point. Oh my God. I almost gave up earlier. Oh my God. I'm just going to get my white. In all honesty, I almost gave up. Like, uh, should I put up the video? Because uh, I felt that the cupcake was not coming to life. I'm just going to add some sort of highlight. Highlight the blueberry. Also So I don't like. And then some blue. Again, remember, we love our blueberries. So water down your blue color and tap. Again, I cannot say that this is for beginners, but I'm just happy. I'm really, really happy that I was able to do this. I'm so happy, guys, because um, it was a difficult subject. You know what? At the middle of my painting session, or my painting while I'm doing this, I thought that, why did I even choose this subject? It's so difficult. And now I feel like, I'm so glad I chose this subject. You know that feeling? I'm going to get my black. Just create depth over here. Okay, like that. Right. Okay, now I'm going to get my palette knife. I'm going to get my palette knife because I want to create more texture on the bread. So I'm going to use the back of my palette knife. I'm going to dab onto my brown and black combined. So I'm not really combining them like blending them. I just want to create patterns that will show the two colors. Okay, now I'm going to get my light brown. To make it really, really natural looking, I must say. Brownies, like soil, when you do those stuff, you use your palette knife, I think. Because um, it will make your um, subject look more natural. I'm going to dab onto my black. Just use the sides. Okay. Yes. 
Okay. Now using my black, I'm gonna water it down again. Or maybe not. I'm just gonna make some clear shadow of black here. Like that. Darkening the left side. Okay. I'm gonna get my light brown plus white. I just keep on coming back to highlighting it because um, the more I glaze, the more I cover it. So if you are very good at not covering it, you don't have to do what I'm doing. Just um, continue where you left. If you're finished, then you're finished. But me, I, I just love going back until I really highlight it. Okay, and then I'm just going to separate this part with using some browns right under yeah like that and then some dark colors right here Let's gray this area. Let's gray it a bit like that. And of course, we don't want to miss this portion that it's not clean that is not clean All right so you can clean that by adding uh, white it's like backgrounding it but it's not really my intention but the brush is not totally clean that's why you see some sort of brown spots Okay, I like this one. My God. All right. Okay. Use my. Okay. There is some sort of yellow color going on. And I'm just going to go for it. Okay. I'm just going to go for that since we already have it. Again, there's no intention on my part to background this, but I want to clean some areas. And what I have here on my palette is this color. So I'm just going to go for it. Sometimes you just have to go for it and see what happens. And I kind of like what's going on. I like this much. I like this very much. Okay. Wow. And I honestly thought I wouldn't end up doing this. I honestly thought I was just going to not continue. Okay. Let's highlight this. But it turned out to be so, so good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. I'm going to sign this now. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. It was a challenging painting but i absolutely adore it i'm gonna use my black 
sine right here. And we're finished. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this one, guys. I hope you like this one. And I hope you paint along with me, even though it's kind of um, difficult. It's not really a beginner, I must admit. And I won't, I won't lie to you. This is not really a beginner. But if you are a beginner and you're able to do this, congratulations. Because, you know, uh, it's a challenging painting, at least for me, because I'm teaching online. So it's difficult. It's more difficult for me to paint when I'm on video, just like what I said, uh, it's just more challenging for me. It adds challenge, but it's in the end, I'm the winner. <laughs> so thanks guys for watching and see you in my next one. Bye guys. Happy Easter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love you.